I was just reading a book. All of a sudden, I heard a guy screaming. I turned around, and the guy sitting right next beside me was standing up and stabbing another guy with a big a Rambo knife, pretty much. It was a big survival knife like this in the throat. Repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. Uh, I told everybody to get off the bus. Everybody started to get off the bus. Uh, the guy stepped, kill step, or still kept stabbing him, stabbing him. Uh, everybody got off the bus. Me and the trucker that had stopped and the Greyhound driver uh, ran up to the door to, to maybe see if the, the guy was still alive or we could help or something like that. And when we all got up, we seen that the guy was cutting off the guy's head. Uh, he was cutting off the guy's head there, and he saw us. He, he came back to the front of the bus, told the driver to shut the door. Uh, he pressed the button, and the door shut, but it didn't shut in time, and the guy was able to get his knife out and take a swipe at us, so we backed off the door, and uh, I ran around the back side of the bus. The bus driver took off, and then we both returned to the front to see what had happened, and he, he hadn't even gotten off the bus. The door was still open. Uh, we shut the bus door that time and shut it, uh, it was at that point that he came, he started walking in front of the bus, and he had a, a, the head in his hand, and he just looked at us like this, and dropped it on the ground, but totally calm. Um, the three of us had uh, weapons in the, the, truck, the trucker's truck there, and we just stayed outside while he tried to get out the door, uh, telling him, well, stay put, stay put, stay there, don't, don't try to come out. Uh, he tried to get the bus working. Uh, and the bus driver disabled the bus somehow in the back. I'm not sure how he did it. Uh, it was at that point, I think the police showed up and uh, kicked us off, got us to the back at the end of the bus there. How were people reacting? Uh, some people were puking, some people were uh, crying, other people were in shock. Uh, were people running when they screamed? Yeah, everybody was running, screaming on the bus. Like, when, when it happened, it, I think I was the first one to realize what was going on and just scream like stop the bus someone's getting stabbed everybody get the hell off the people at the front of the bus didn't really understand what was going on so it was it almost turned into like a trample scene there and everybody trying to get off the bus but uh, the guy he didn't care at all he wasn't concerned with anybody but the, the guy that he was stabbing what the guy looked like did you get a look at him the, the, the killer yeah um uh, he's either chinese or native that's all i can say uh Six feet, 200 pounds, wearing sunglasses, bald head. Uh, he looked totally calm. He didn't say a word, I don't think, to anybody on the bus. I think he, he got out and had a cigarette with one girl. Um, nothing, just totally calm. The guy that he stabbed was, was listening to his headphones and uh, sleeping. He didn't do anything to provoke the guy. The guy just took a knife out and stabbed him. Started stabbing like crazy and cut his head off. How are you feeling when you saw this happening? Uh, I got sick after I saw the head thing. Um, I just wanted to help the, you know, me and the driver wanted to get the guy stuck in the bus. And uh, at that point, when we saw the head, we knew that the guy was dead. So was it? Was he uh, sitting next to him? Did it seem like they were traveling together? Yeah, he sat right next to the guy that he, he, he killed. Were they friends? No, I don't think that they were at all. He didn't say anything when the guy got on the bus. Uh, I honestly don't think that the guy knew him at all. I think he was just really crazy. So there's no words exchanged before? No warning? Nothing. No warning. How are you feeling now? Uh, a little tired. I'm, I'm, I'm in shock still, I guess. Uh, I still feel like maybe there was something that, when, when that had happened, there was uh, another kind of big guy beside me, and I told him, don't give me a hand, maybe we can, let, let's, let's get this guy. But uh, the other guy took off, and I wasn't, you know, I feel really, really terrible for the guy that got killed. I mean, the poor guy, he didn't even see it coming, right? Uh, are you traveling alone? Yes, sir. Where's all your stuff on your bags? Oh, uh, everybody's stuff still on the bus. They, they put us here in the hotel. Uh, they just finished taking us to the police station to, to take all of our uh, statements. Uh, we're still not sure how we're getting to our destination or uh, what's, what's going on with our luggage or what. But uh, they're supposed, we're supposed to talk to a crisis unit here right now and they got some food and drinks and uh, the rooms for us for tonight. Ever seen anything like this before? Ever been through anything like this before? Nothing like that, no. I've never seen somebody decapitated. Was he saying anything during the attack? The Nothing. Attack? The guy was totally calm. And when he when he came and he brought the, the head and he looked at us and dropped the head, it was just like he, like he was uh, having a day at the beach. Like, bothered by anything else. What did you hurt yourself? 
this that you found something? Uh, the, the tractor had a big crowbar, and I grabbed a hammer. Uh, I'm not sure what the driver had. He must have had something, otherwise he wouldn't have been there. And we were all just sitting here at the door, waiting for that guy to come up. Were you a soldier by any chance? I was. Soldier? Yeah, I was. I was in the military for five years. Red Force? Was it? Yeah. What unit? Uh, Sank emergency, but uh, I don't want to get too far into that right now. Yeah, it was. Sorry, you said what? You were That was combat engineer. Is that right? You never got to Afghanistan, did you? No. Uh, you're kind of the story. Uh, not me. I'd say that the trucker was really that guy. When he showed up, I felt so much better. Uh, when he was there with that bar, and he was bigger, and uh, at that point, it was like, hey, we, we got this guy. The trucker? I believe he was driving along the road, and when we had pulled over in a hurry, everybody had ran out of the bus. He had seen people running and, and figured that something was going on, so he pulled over right away. And uh, I, what he told me after was that somebody screamed at him that he's got a knife, he's got a knife. So he went and got that bar. Where were you sitting? I was sitting just in the seat in front of the killer and the, the victim. On the window. On the, in front of the bus. Right, so it was right at the back, right by the toilet. The killer was right at the right in front of the toilet. Seat. In the very last seat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The victim was, it was a blood curling scream. Like he got, like, just reading my book, and all of a sudden I heard it. It was like something uh, between a dog howling and a baby crying. I guess you could say it was. I don't think I'll, it'll, be, it'll leave me for a while. Uh, after, I don't know, five or six stabs, I think he must have got him in his rope because we didn't hear him anymore. Is there a, a lot of blood? Yeah, there was blood everywhere. There was blood spraying. Yeah. Uh, then did you turn around 